This is a Lotus Sound study of uh, Prime Gravida for our very first Lotus Sound to be referred to rule out any uh, fetal anomaly. What I am saying is that the fetus may as this is the head of the fetus, this is the body of the fetus, may as approximately 11.5 centimeters in length from pole to pole with biparietal diameter of 3.6 centimeters corresponding to the gestational age of 17 weeks, female length measures 2.1, corresponding to the gestational age of 16 weeks, with, uh, and the, uh, the uh, 16 weeks plus 5 days is the uh, gestational age. EDD goes to 20, 20th uh, April, May, yeah, May 2015. So this is the fetus showing you a transverse right, a life, right transverse life. Uh, and uh, there is uh, actually no movement. Fetus is showing no movement whatsoever. And this is the head of the fetus. Head and neck. This is the neck of the fetus. This is the head of the fetus. And uh, it is surrounded by an ecogenic membrane with fluid in between. This is the membrane. This is the membrane surrounding the overlapping skull bones in the skin plan. Whereas the head anatomy is, uh, the brain anatomy is normal. You can see the fox cerebri. This is the fox cerebri. No dilation of the ventricles and uh, So far as the brain is concerned, it's normal. There is no anomaly seen relating to the brain. As I go further, you will see that there is another membrane covering the facial features of the fetus. And uh, this is the membrane. Yeah, this one. This is the membrane. This is the fluid in between. Similarly, when we move towards the body of the fetus, we again see that the... Now this is the fetal body, abdomen, sorry, fetal abdomen. And what you see is that this is the heart, and this is the fluid in the fetal space, this is the liver, and uh, to show you, it is abdomen is also surrounded by an, a membrane with fluid in between. The this is the this is the fetal abdomen, and you can see that uh, the membrane. This is the membrane. This one with few symptoms, this is the membrane, this one, and there is fluid between the elevating the skin, this is the skin, this is fluid, with a few septas within, this is the liver in front of you, so the fetal abdomen, transfer section, transfers of the fetal abdomen. Me. <coughs> Having a bad throat. This is the fluid part. And uh, this is the membrane, this one. Edema. Fetal skin edema is obvious. Eye drops.
Now, this is the transfer section of the Peter abdomen. And uh, we do not see any urinary bladder. Multiple ecogenicities are seen in the fetal abdomen. <coughs> Please excuse me, not feeling well. You see, there is no evidence of uh, fetal kidneys, no urinary bladder seen. Only liver is seen, bowels are absent, and here you can see this again the membrane separating the elevated skin, elevated by the fluid in, in between. This is the abdomen, see the equogenic particles within uh, the umbilical cord is okay. This is the foot of the patient, uh, of the fetus. This will be put on the fetus, not like the upper leg. Femur. This is the femur. Placenta is uh, posterior wall and uh, slightly above the os. It is not marginal or uh, previous. This is the placenta. It's much away from the external os, 2.9 centimeters away from the os. And this is the uh, cervix. This is the urinary bladder. This is the amniotic fluid. This is the placenta, grade uh, 2. And this is posterior wall of the center. Okay. These are the fetal limbs. There is fully hydramnios as the single largest amniotic fluid pocket without including any part of the fetus and on the umbilical cord. Uh, Yes, approximately. <coughs> Single largest pocket in vertical section is measuring 9.4 from this angle. And uh, Keeping the in view the uh, measurement, this is the polyhydramnios, this is the end of the fetus, and uh, you can count the fingers one, two, three, four, thumb. You can clearly see the abdomen, the liver, the fluid surrounding the abdomen, and this is the skin being elevated by the fluid in between the in between the fetal body. So, no, uh, we, there is no evidence of uh, sonographic evidence of urinary bladder. We don't see any urinary bladder over here. This is the plural fluid, fluid seen, and uh, no anomaly is seen relating to the spinal cord from cephalic to portal region. So, this is in fact a case. Now let's see the cardiac activity. This is the heart. This is the heart. No flickering is seen and you can see the fluid in the neural space. This is the fluid in the neural space. So this is 
we heard Det är så att slå på, men det är inte kommentar och hyllor vi. No party activity. This is the heart. This is the heart. This is the heart. Okay, you see there is no party activity. So this is a case of intrauterine fetal demise at uh, 16 weeks gestational age with hydrox fetalis and as well as absence of the uh, urogenital organs. Fetalocytes is seen, this is the fluid within the abdominal, these are the abdominal viscera and we can see the fluid, uh, this is the fluid and there is also pleural effusion this is the skin surrounding the abdomen, and this is the uh, head of the fetus. First bit of room, in your Now well, this is the nose, facial features, nose, you can see the nares. And here you can see the two eyes. This is one, this is second one. This is hypothyroidism. Either too close to each other and the IOD is uh, also suggestive of hypothyroidism. No movements. Fetal ascites, plural diffusion, no uh, evidence of uh, urogenital organs, absent, and uh, placenta posterior. In that case, okay, no other evidence of any other abnormality except the ones that uh, have been shown to you. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.